Who? Dad. To J.O. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Kar, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, General. It's good to hear your voice again. It's great to hear your voice too, General. I have some news for you, my friend. Okay. Bin Laden is calling his people back to Afghanistan. Ordering them back to return early September. They're moving their training bases deeper into the mountains. Shoring up defenses. For, for what purpose, General? Can, can you tell me why? They intend to execute an operation inside America. It involves aviation, hijackings. Perhaps for ransom. Perhaps to release Ramzi Yusuf or the blind sheik. That is all we know. But it is intended to be spectacular. They expect some kind of reaction or attack. That is why they're moving their camps. This is good to know, General. Thank you. America must prepare. Tell them, Kirk. I will. I will, General.
What can I do with it? You don't have details. This is actionable intelligence from a source on the ground in Afghanistan. No, it's not actionable. It's too vague. Who do we go after? Which flight? What day? Give me names, numbers, anything. Look, punch it in the computer. You know, check the intercepts, triangulate, just see what you come up with. Threat matrix overloaded. NSA can't translate messages, intersect data for weeks, months after snatching this stuff from the air. Their staff, our staff, has been cut in half. So what are you gonna do, just give up, Paul? Come on, I serve this up to the DCI. He'll say it's the same old, same old. We need more. How much more do you need? He said aviation. He said hijackings. He said inside the United States. That should be enough for you to at least warn the airlines. And start a panic? No. Give me specifics, OK? Get me specifics. Good morning, gentlemen. As a result of the August 6th presidential daily briefing, the president is tired of swatting flies. He believes al-Qaeda is a real threat, and he wants to consider real action. He specifically asked about the armed predator. Where are we with that? Is it actionable? Well, for reconnaissance, yes. But the Hellfire missile currently being tested is not ready for use against any attempt on bin Laden or anyone else. If that's what the president is proposing, something whose legality is still in question. The deputies committee has concluded, as did the previous administration, that it is legal for the CIA to kill bin Laden. My people say different. I nor anyone else at my agency, according to counsel, is authorized to pull a trigger on any such attempt. Even if ordered by the president of the United States? Boy, I got to tell you, George, CIA is becoming masterful at passive aggressive behavior. Did you hear an order? Look, Dr. Rice, the real question before you, Principals Committee, and the president is, are we serious about dealing with the al-Qaeda threat? Is al-Qaeda a big deal? We have to imagine ourselves on a future day when we have failed to act and hundreds of Americans lay dead. We have to do something now. I cannot, for the life of me, understand why we continue to allow the existence of large-scale al-Qaeda bases where we know people are being trained to kill Americans. Thank you. 
تفضل محمودي بعد اذنك انت شكلك مصارع مش صحافي <تصفيق> والله يا كوماندر انا وانا صغير كنت مصارع دلوقتي انا شغال في مؤسسه شيخ الاسلام ابن تيميه في لندن وبنروح هدي لقدام شوي بنروح الى الدول الاسلاميه ونشوف الغلابه ونصور معاهم وبعدين الكيبل نشوف ناس تساعدهم طب اسالني السؤال بتاع لو سمحت سيادتك دايما تقول ان اسامه بن لاد انه مجرم وقتل قتله والمفروض يطلع من افغانستان وبعد كده لما احنا كنا نحارب جنبك ادام العدو السوفيتي ما كنت تقول اخرجوا يا عرب تذكر قول الله تعالى ان لله وانا اليه راجعون On February 26, 1993, this building was attacked by terrorists using a car bomb in the underground garage. Their stated intent was to take down the World Trade Center. They are not finished. They know what they did wrong. They have learned from that attack and have pledged to return and finish the job. It's the responsibility of everybody in this room to make sure that does not happen. Together, we will protect these towers.
You positive? Islamabad station confirmed it. He was killed by assassins posing as journalists. Sood, he said that uh, if anything happened to him, it would, it would be the beginning of something, It'd be a signal. Director Tennant asked me to convey his condolences. I'm... This is true an ally as we ever had. We let him down. لما كنت صغير وألعب وأجري ولا مرة فكرت حياتي بتصير كذي يوم بابا ما كانش يدخلوني يجيب كان لازم أدرس وأساعده في كل حاجة وكان لازم أقعد في غرفتي لوحدي أنا كنت صغير ما كنت أشبه في الحاجات دي الوقت بفهم شنو فهمت بالضبط؟ بهمبورغ عرفت القسيس وكلمنا في الدين قال لي ازاي ممكن تصالح مع الله وكلمنا على الحياة الأبدية وقال لي ازاي نقبل كلمة الله ونحاول الخض الآخر وكأنه الكلام ده خايف قلت له إني بعمل أكتر من كده بكتير لربنا أنا بحارب عشانه هلو That's it Pardon? That's all you're getting? Box cutters? And these knives, police Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim. Malik Yawm Al-Din. Yaakna Abdu wa Yaakna Nasta'in. Ahdina wa Sirat Al-Mustaqim. Sirat Al-Din Anamta Al-Ilm. Ghayri Al-Maghdoob Ya Layhi Muradda. One way non-stop to Los Angeles, no return. Yes.
thank you. Cast warning. Should he be searched? No, just hold their bags till they board. Good morning, Mr. O'Neill. Morning. Let him through. Have him check the sticker. I don't care if he knows me. No one gets in the building without a sticker. You don't have any photo IDs? She had it. No. No picture. OK? Central air regulations require that all of your personal baggage and packages... Your passport. Current? Thank you. Hold these bags off the plane until they board it. American 11, this is flight control, Boston Center, maintain flight level 350. American 11, Boston Center, you are cleared to maintain flight level 350. American 11, Boston Center, do you read? American 11, this is Boston Center on guard frequency 121.5. If you read Squawk Ident. Either emergency frequency. I did that. You, well, you make sure there's a bay ready, and, and we should be able to put this together in, in no time at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, he did good. He did. He did very, very well. I think. I think he'd be pleased. Yeah. Let's call American Dispatch. See if they can contact American Eleven on their company frequency. I'll keep trying them on guard. American Eleven. This is Boston Center on guard. Do you read? Flight 11, do you hear me? Are you there? Please respond. American Airlines Reservations, this is Vanessa. Uh, this is Betty Young, flight attendant for American 11. Something's wrong. The concrete's not answering. Somebody's stabbed in business class. I think there's mace, but we can't breathe. I think we're getting hijacked. All right, I'll patch you into my supervisor. Uh, what did you say your name was? Betty. Betty Ong. Have some planes. Wait, somebody's on the pilot's intercom. Nobody move. Everything will be okay. Who is that? I thought you said the transponder and radio were off. If you 
It's the talk back line. He thinks he's talking to the passengers. The airplane. Just stay quiet. Northeast Air Defense Sector. This is Boston Center. We have a problem here. We have a hijacked aircraft headed to New York. We need you guys or somebody to scramble some F-16s or something up there. Help us out. Is this real world or exercise? No, this is not an exercise. This is not a test. <laughs> have a good day. Good morning. Morning. Can I get you anything? Coffee. I just got a report and I try to contact them. What? United Flight 175, they're not responding. United 175? Boston Center, we're confused. What flight is being hijacked, American 11 or United 175? But, um, both, I'm, I'm afraid. Your new laptop just came in. Oh, good. Um, do you want me to get the IT guys to come set it up? No, my son's coming up today. He'll set it up for me. Okay, great. I'll leave it for JP. Security at the World Trade Center. A plane's hit Tower One, the North Tower. We need fire and emergency people here immediately. As many as you can send. Contact JTTF. This was not an accident. I repeat, not an accident. This is a crime scene. Ladies and gentlemen, the building is secure. There is no need to evacuate the building. Who said this? Don't listen to that. Everybody out. They told us to come back out. They made a mistake. Turn around. Go back out now. Calmly, calmly. Everybody, forget that announcement. Follow me. You're going the wrong way. Out. Out of the building. This is John O'Neill. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so how long are you going to be in Washington? Excuse me, Senator. Mr. Director, a plane has gone into the World Trade Center. to go, Senator. I'm sorry. This is Ben Laden. His fingerprints are all over it. William, escort Senator Borum back to his office. Now, we don't know exactly what's happened. Witnesses reporting a very low-flying plane may have struck one of the towers. And indeed, there is a It's an American Airlines flight, number 11. Air dispatch is reporting they've lost contact with United 175. She's failing to respond. 175. A Boeing 767, Boston to LA, uh, 56 passengers, seven flight attendants, two pilots. Open the door and start shooting. Center. This is Mike McCormick. This is New York Herndon Command Center. We are reading New York Center. Go ahead. We have several situations going on here, and they're escalating big, big time. We need to get the military involved with us. Mike, We're... 
Americans reporting it's lost communication with Flight 77 out of Dulles. Tracon. They think they've got 175. Mike McCormick, New York Center. Can you tell me what you're seeing? Sir, listen to me. Get in the van. Get up. Uh, just picking them up now. I can see it from my window. Looks like we got another one coming in. Seven, respond. Elevator 48, respond. Elevator 49, respond. Lost all radio contact. All the elevators. What about roof access? No roof access and no roof access evacuation plan. Are the stairwells there, there, up and down? That's it. Just one second. I'm John O'Neill, Director of Security. What can I do to help? We're evacuating people. We're working on getting them out, all right? There's still people trapped up there. We're working on it. Jim, I need you. Power one. Underneath the portico. Evacuate the White House. Now we're a couple of minutes out. Listen to me. We're going to need to get everyone together. I just tried to get near the towers, but for obvious reasons, it's blocked off. And now with the second tower being hit, Whatever we thought this was, we now know what this is. This is a terrorist attack. A second plane crash. It appears to have been deliberately flown directly into the towers. We have just witnessed another. 
another, uh, a second explosion, uh, this one in the other tower. And as near as I can tell, it looks like That would suggest, I'm assuming here, uh, I'm assuming here, uh, there are quite a large number of stories above that second explosion. Which would indicate untold numbers of that are above the damage, who may be trapped or unable to evacuate. Uh, we're going to... Mr. Vice President. You've spoken to the President. Only after the first plane hit. Uh, Dick Clark's on his way. He just called. Engine 228. Vice President, this is Al Qaeda, Dick, as I'm sure you're aware. Like simultaneous attacks, this may not be over. What do you recommend? You want me to handle this? You're the crisis manager, Dick. Make a recommendation. Secure teleconference. Everybody on the phone. Mr. Vice President, American Airlines flight number 77 has been hijacked, sir. And it's heading towards your ship at airspace here in Washington. <laughs> sir, my orders are going to evacuate you immediately. coming in here, yeah. Okay. We've got both these monitors. Right here, can I have that, please? All right, yeah. All right, hang on, hang on. Please tell us what you know, Jane, what FAA is telling you. The uh, two aircraft that went into the WTC were American Flight 11, a 767, and United 175, also a 767. Um, hijacked. We've put a hold on all takeoffs and landings in New York and Washington. United 93, check in 350. Verify 350. United 93, this is Cleveland Center. Verify your level. United 93, verify your level. This is Cleveland Center. United 93, check in 350. Verify 350. United 93, Cleveland, say again. United 93, verify your level. This is Cleveland Center. United 93, Cleveland Center, calling. Do you read? United 93, Cleveland Center, do you read? Unfortunately, We'll be going back to Washington. United 93, 9 or 3, do you hear we'll Cleveland right Center? Lieutenant Governor, we'll take the podium and discuss education. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the Vice President, to the Governor of New York, to the Director of the FBI, and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government go to help the victims and their families. Of an attack, uh, we we don't yet know exactly what type or size of aircraft are involved, but there is no doubt in my mind that this was deliberate. It was intentional. The second plane clearly. Hello. Dina. 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 Hello. Tom. I'm on United Airlines 93 from Newark to San Francisco. The plane has been hijacked. We're in the air. One guy knifed a guy. They're saying they got a bomb on board. Please call the authorities. Tom? Oh, my God. What is this plane doing? What is this guy doing? Up and down, climbing and descending, erratic. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now, if you join me in a moment of silence, uh, yes, my husband just, just called me from Flight United 93, and uh, his plane's been hijacked. May God bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. What flight is it? United 93. See if you can raise it. United 93, this is Cleveland Center. Do you read? United 93, are you there? United 93, this is Cleveland Center. United 93, do you read? We have reports of 11 other aircraft either off course or out of communication. 11? We need a national ground stop. All planes. It's been done. One flight that has us uh, worried is Washington-bound American 77. The transponder's been turned off and 
We have no idea where it's really headed. All right, General, tell me about the scrambled fighters. Are they within range of Washington? The closest planes are to Selfridge Air Base near Detroit. I don't see them making it here in less than 15 minutes or so. All right, I think we need to consider authorizing the Air Force to shoot down any aircraft, including a hijacked passenger flight. It's threatening to attack and cause large-scale death on the ground. Also, the President needs to get off his itinerary. Don't recommend that he come back here either. It's best that he contact us in Air Force One, Secret Service concurs. Any shoot-down authority has to come from the President. Meanwhile, we've got a plane headed for Washington. We have got to do something. Right, General, we need to know where those fighters are and be able to contact them. We've got to get the President in on this call. No, my husband's not on either of the planes that went to the Trade Center. He's on United 93. No, I just hope, I spoke to him a few minutes ago. Hold on, that's him. That's him. Tom? They're in the cockpit. <sighs> Honey, there have been other attacks. Two planes were flown deliberately into the World Trade Center. There's a policeman here, Mommy. We've just received word in the studio that a large plane, perhaps one of the others reported missing, has crashed into the Pentagon in Washington, where reporter John Oletta is on scene. Towers unfold in New York. Hijacked American Airlines flight. They're saying the Pentagon's been hit. Oh, my God. General, did you feel anything? Did you hear anything? In the bunker, we didn't feel a thing. guys too. I need a, a direction, a destination. Hunters, be advised, we are now picking up heavy smoke 260 for 80 back over Manhattan. What are my orders? You are to establish combat air patrol over Manhattan. Hunters, please advise, do we have shoot down authority? Do you know the rules of engagement? Stand by. Sir, the fighters are up, but they, they want to know what to do. Sir, it may require extreme measures. It's Don Rumsfeld. Is that American 77 or United 93 that just hit the Pentagon? I've still got 93 on my screen, uh, about 20 minutes out of Washington. If that plane's headed for Washington, it could be serious. I know, I know. A whole bunch of people just left the room. Uh, they're making phone calls. The president has just given the shoot-down order. Some officers here at the Pentagon reported hearing... Tom, are you okay? No, I'm not. They just hit the Pentagon. I thought it was your flight. It looks like they're taking planes and hitting designated targets up and down the East Coast. How many are involved? It, I don't know. Three have already crashed. They're speculating two more have been hijacked. I already called the authorities. They didn't know about your plane until I called. Yeah, Mary Margaret of Christ, keep the men safe. 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 Please keep them safe, Lionel. Please keep them safe. Come back. People are starting to jump up the building. Damn radio. I'm not getting the damn thing. Do not let anybody out. We got debris and bodies falling from off the building. Make sure you keep them underneath the portico. Warn them when they're coming out to be careful when they're safe. Protect them, Lionel. Save their souls. Keep them safe. Hail Mary, Mother of Christ.
John O'Neill, leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John O'Neill, leave a message and I'll call you back. No, sit down. Be still, be, be quiet, and don't draw attention to yourself. No, Dina. I'm the flight attendant, Tom. I know the procedure. They intend to crash this plane. If we're gonna die, we have to do something. <laughs> okay. Pray, Dina. Okay. I love you. is undeniable. We study how you think, the way you do what you do. His story is unforgettable. You killed all these people, hundreds of them, and only one woman. Monday, 9.30. Oh, my. TV 
city's most brilliant investigator has met his match. It's still called Paranoid if I'm right. Can they outsmart him to find where he's hidden his latest victim before it's too late? Dealing with professional and appear psychopath. Brand new Criminal Minds, Monday 9.30 on 7.